Hi, I'm Julia and this is my shed. Uh, so we're back working on the Britannia again. Um, I've got the coupling rods done, um, but I need to, to make these uh, special, special washers um, for the leading and trailing um, coupling rod pins. Um, they're actually quite um, quite big. I was surprised actually. They're they're both three quarters of an inch in diameter. Um, so they are quite a quite a decent sized chunk. Um, just give you an example. This this is nearly three quarters of an inch. This is the um, the brass. I've actually off camera made the brasses for the um, connecting rods as well. So just a, a nice tight sliding fit in there so they need to be uh, locked tight again I'm not quite sure which side they go on <laughs> the front or the back so uh, I need to do a bit more research on that that's why they're not actually glued in but um, yeah so I'll, I'll, I'll find some uh, mild steel hopefully some free cutting stuff and uh, we'll have a go at making making these so this this is the trailing um, coupling rod. As you can see, there's there's a bolt, there's a stud with a, a nut on. We just need the washer to extend over where the um, brasses are. So uh, and the same on the front as well. So just in case you're wondering where on the loco we're talking about. Um, so luckily, I've got some three quarter inch um, EN one A, which is a free cutting mild steel. Um, just putting it on the power hacksaw, it felt really nice to cut through, so um, I'm looking forward to using this. It is just um, three quarters of an inch diameter, so I might just have to just very lightly skim the outside, so it might be slightly undersized, but, you know, these are washers, it's not really that important. Right, so that's the first um, couple of washers done. I've made them slightly thicker. 1.5 mil, they just looked a bit flimsy. So, yeah, seems pretty good. A little bit of free play there, so. Yeah, nice. Right, let's get on to the slightly more complicated ones. Here we're producing the um, top hat shape required, and that obviously. Um, requires a lot, quite a lot of removal of uh, material and uh, the the free cutting mild steel was an absolute joy to uh, machine you can see the, the lovely curls of swarf coming off even parting off it was really nice to use I've put the uh, part in the um, collet chuck now to, to machine the second side or do the second operations. So we're doing a, quite a deep counter bore for the nut to go into and then there'll be a, sh a chamfer on, on the top edge just to reduce the profile a bit. Uh, 
Okay, so that's the um, the second one fitted. I've used a, a small hex head bolt on that side. But so uh, you can see we've got free movement and it, it will, there is a little bit of front to back. It's not very clear, but you, just, a, just a fraction there, just to, probably a bit less than on the, on the other side. But So the connecting rods are connected at the front and the rear. Um, I don't really want to put anything on the middle one at the moment. Um, so, but I think uh, you can see it's still turning over. So I'll I'll do the other side. I've made made the parts. I've just got to attach them. So I'll do those, uh, and then I can take it to the track, and we'll we'll run it around the track and see see what it looks like. Hopefully, it looks uh, looks okay. So I hope you found that um, interesting. Uh, educational <laughs> uh, yeah the free cutting mild steel really is a joy to machine en1a i think i think that's leaded um, but it's lovely and you get a really nice finish straight off the bat so um yeah so uh, like share and subscribe please leave a comment um always interested to hear what you have to say and uh, i'll see you in the next one I've added some footage at the end of this video uh, just showing me taking off the build stand and, and going to the club and running it around the club track. So uh, please stay, uh, stay tuned for the next couple of minutes if you'd like to see that. So that's the Britannia chassis on my lifting truck. Uh, I'm, guessing, um, I'm guessing coupling heights are a standard size because the... Uh, the coupling I made for the sweet pea and that's gone straight into the, the drag beam slot. Reasonably stress free. Let's get it in the car. Okay, so that was a successful test. I've had no binding at all. The only slight issue I had was that the um, front bogey is a bit light at the moment because there's not much weight on it. I think once we get the cylinders on that'll be fine. And uh, no binding at all from the coupling rods. So really, really pleased with that. So uh, yeah, on to the next one.